So Marquis de Sade's 120 Days of Sodom has just been declared a French national treasure. I'll leave the links below. I'm not going to say too much, but I will say that the depravity, the depravity is continuing. Okay, uh, the 120 Days of Sodom by Marquis de Sade is a, is a disgusting book which talks about aristocratic men raping their daughters and and uh, other people and it's just it's just really you know a horrible book okay but France has declared this a national treasure so what is a national treasure an artifact an institution or a public figure regarded as being emblematic of a nation's cultural heritage or identity, okay? So apparently, the 120 Days of Sodom by Marquis de Sade, this is the sick book that inspired the even sicker movie, you know, if you know anybody that doesn't understand, like, what really goes on, um, I guess they should watch this movie, you know what I'm saying, but... This sick movie that was inspired by this sick book, okay, I guess you could say is now part of uh, France's national identity uh, and their cultural heritage. And this is uh, very sick and very sad. And uh, the world is upside down, you know what I'm saying? And people should also look into the death of the director of the movie Salo, Pier Paolo Pasolini. Of course, you know, his death is all up in the air. Nobody knows. Now, I believe his death is a conspiracy, but I don't know much about his death, and I haven't researched much into it at this point myself. But, uh, this, this director's death is likely very similar to Stanley Kubrick's death. Maybe this man was part of the, you know, uh, Illuminati. Maybe he uh, knew a lot about their ways of life or whatever and was murdered for revealing depictions of the lifestyle of uh, uh, certain elite people or Illuminati people in this movie. You know, maybe he was uh, murdered for that. Uh, so, so people got to really look into this and, uh, you know... I just think it's a very uh, interesting thing. Until next time.